Hey, it's Rob, and I'm down here in the workshop basement, which is an incredible mess right now. Uh, I was kind of in the process of cleaning it up at uh, one point back in the winter, and uh, you know, I never really finished it. It just turned out to be way too much. So I'm going to be doing a little bit because it's cold and rainy outside, and my plans for the day are kind of shot. So I figure it's time I can uh, start attacking the... Uh, Attacking the great mess, and uh, maybe explain it to you a little bit on the way. So these are kind of fun. Uh, these are old motorized wheelchairs, wheelchair bases. Uh, the one that's parked underneath the table there, you can see the water that's coming in. That's uh, sneaking in from around the basement window that's all broken. I need to get out there and fix, but, you know, again, it's raining. So many things to fix. Anyway, that one is fully working. Uh, I can actually drive it around with a little RC controller that you see right there. This one I just got, and it needs a bunch of work. So what I'd like to do is be able to put this up on the table so I can work on it. Uh, not entirely sure about that yet. Uh, we'll find out if I can actually lift it, because it is pretty heavy. Um, if not, I do have a crane that I can bring in from outside, but that's not going to happen today. This has primarily been my battery station. Um, my power supply died for my uh, charge and discharge conditioner. So I need to go ahead and fix this at a different time. As a matter of fact, I should probably bring that upstairs. Um, these are battery packs that need to be taken apart and have the batteries recycled. Got some cleaning products. Um, there's some other things too. I've got a uh, server level UPS over here that I need to um, rebuild and put together. I've got some batteries that are already sorted. I've got a pile of really good ones over here. I've got a pile of mostly good but unsorted ones over here. Uh, I've got some that are um, reduced capacity over here and I've got some that are just less than uh, less than stellar so those would be going into uh, something else or just being plain recycled uh, this is part of the heating system it's uh, hot water radiators I had to replace the boiler and all of the plumbing so all that uh, funky steampunky plumbing that you see in the back is uh, is my particular invention and twisted level of detail. Uh, it's actually pretty sophisticated. There's two different zones in here with monitors for um, outgoing and incoming temperature. It's actually cold enough that the boiler is firing up today, so um, those noises are going to be in there. But um, It works. I've learned a whole lot about this boiler. I've been able to actually fix it and make it better than it was when I got it. It's been more reliable and the only thing I've had to do with it in several years is to clean the electrode when it had some issues firing. And that's pretty easy. It's a, just a Dremel brush on a, on a flame sensor. So I don't even have to take it apart to do it. Train up. Gonna try and lift it and see how it goes. Whoop. <laughs> 